Hello again, everybody. This is Rob Bobberty, and welcome to Lovely Planet 2. Now, this, unlike most of my videos, usually I do playthroughs. I didn't really do a playthrough on this. I did more of a... I'm doing more of a review. I played through a good portion of the game. This game is cute and weird and frustrating and fun and then loops back around to cute and frustrating and fun. It is kind of a kind of in a way first person shooter this is i'm just gonna go through a, a random sampling of the levels i don't know why the sound gets weird here i think it's supposed to though um you are running around shooting these guys i think there's kind of a story implied here flights canceled and at the end you board a ship so the basic premise you're running around shooting you're jumping the usual stuff but you have to watch out for red things usually. Those things will kill you if you run into them. And I'm going to skip to a later one because there's not really ha anything happening in that one. Um, there's all these different icons. I don't know what they mean. I noticed something weird here though. I tried to figure, I can't figure this out yet. There must be some reason for it, but there's no, like, there's no nine. It goes one eight to one ten, but for the most part, they're in order. So I think there are hidden levels. I tried, like, maxing, you know, getting the highest, uh, the higher number of stars on 8, thinking that would unlock 9, but that didn't do it. I might need to get all the stars for all these levels, and that's probably not going to happen because I'm not that good at this game. Uh, just kind of jump a random one. Um, yeah, these guys, the red guys shoot at you, and these kill you. Sometimes they fly at you, and the end goal is to get to that pillar, but you have to kill all the red guys first, and... It's it's a fun little game. It is cute. Those things disappear just for fun. But I die a lot on it. But the goal you're actually going for is not just to kill these guys and get to the end, but to do it in a certain amount of time. But I realized you can get through the whole game without worrying about the time. And it's a little easier. You can still finish the game and only get one stars throughout the whole thing, which is what what I've done through most of it. Some of them I've kind of played around with. There were times in this game I got very frustrated, and I just kept going anyway. So it is kind of weird. Some of the some of the levels get really hard, and then you start getting into apples. Apples are awful, and we have guns for some reason. It's all kind of random stuff. These are all over the place. <laughs> They're all grouped around each other. Weird. And the apples suck because they fly in the air and you have to hit them. Oh yeah, and then you do stuff like that eventually. And it laughs at you when you... Whoa, wait, where am I supposed to be going here? Wait a minute. Oh, am I going the wrong way? No. I did this one. Oh, that's why. Yeah. You have to shoot these guys that warp you. And you don't know which ones are going to do that either. I thought at first it did it when it was these guys on these these little uh, platforms, but it's not. It's something else. It's just, or it's, there's no indication really of which ones are going to do it. Except if they're sitting out in the open like that, they probably are. But you can see they get a little harder, and I've actually gotten a lot better at this. Okay, not good. I'm not saying I got good at it by any stretch, but I did get a lot better. But I, again, am not going to be trying to get three stars in the whole thing just because I can't do it. Now, this game is $10. Uh, it's on sale right now. See, that looks... Oh, that's where I started. Um, it's on sale for 8 or 7 I can't remember which one. Yeah, 8 because it's 20% off. And, yeah, that one. See, like, there was my time there, and I didn't do that well. Cause even if I was doing decent. I kind of sat around talking, so that didn't work. That's another reason this one doesn't work too good as a full playthrough, because you're not going to get the high levels or anything by going through and doing that. And then you get the mountains, where you have these angelic ones, for some reason. And, and uh, let's see, what was I just saying? I forgot what I was saying. And again, there's certain ones. Wait, where are they? There. Yeah, there's no 18. I don't know why. Just as, there just isn't. And then you get all the way to the end, and actually a couple of these, I... Oh, actually, no. This... Yeah, you could play the last one and win. And I got... This one, I never finished. And it gets... It gets hard. Because you have... 
those guys shoot at you, you have to hit those apples before they hit the ground. That's what I was starting to say that I forgot to finish, was the, about the apples hitting the ground. Because you have to do that, and you still <laughs> get killed a lot. That guy's flying at you, you gotta get rid of the apple that I missed again. But yeah, this is like the second to last episode. Uh, and I forgot about that guy. I played this one a lot, and I haven't finished it yet, even going slow and not worrying about the time. But that's part of the problem, too, is it starts to get to where the time... It doesn't matter if you're trying to go fast. It makes you go fast because things are flying at you. But I'm going to try this one a little more. Oh, my aim is so bad. And that's one thing, too, is I am not good at first-person shooters because I don't aim well. I almost forgot about him again. Oh, and then another apple fell. That splashing sound means an apple fell. So, I mean, I would be willing to do a playthrough, but I don't think it would be very interesting because I'm not that good at it. It would have to be edited way down. Damn it, I missed it again. I mostly can uh, get through this by sheer determination and trying it, playing it over and over again. There we go. Oh, wait, I gotta get the apple. Damn it, I forgot. An apple drops right side out of your, right out of your view. Oh, and you got to get up there real quick to get that one. Oh, I didn't get them. Yeah, they go through rocks when they shoot at you, which is doesn't seem very fair. They can just shoot through everything. Damn it, I can't get that one. I can't get that one fast enough. Ah, oh, missed it again. And the, like I said, there's kind of like an implied story, but it doesn't really spell it out at all. And at the end, you appear to board a spaceship. Assume. Ah, what am I doing? Assuming you are escaping the planet. Ah, that's too far. I keep jumping there. There we go. Get him, get him, get him. There we go. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man, I don't even know which one hit me. <laughs> there are too, many, too much going on. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. That guy, that guy. Apple! Is that it? Did I finish it? I did! I probably only got one star. Yep. And I just noticed, too, if you go back to the final level, I have a blue star and a gold star. Every one of them, I have blue, or I have blue and red. I, I didn't get two stars at any of them, but in the other levels, believe me, I did get a couple, two and three stars. So I don't know if that means anything. In this one, there's nothing to fight. So it's just time. So I don't know why there is even... Yeah, I don't know why there is a uh, star thing. Yeah, and that's the end. It just kind of ends. I know, I've just kind of spoiled the ending, but there isn't much to it, really. It just kind of goes. Um, so I'm going to try to see if I can shortcut. Maybe that's why I got different stars. See, I can kind of... I think that was a little faster. Let's see. I don't know if I go faster when I'm jumping. Let's see. I got three stars. Okay, so yeah, I just need to go faster. I don't know, the gold might be so... The gold... Also, it keeps track of your accuracy. Ac accuracy? When you um, finish it, I didn't actually show that at all. I just kind of skipped past it. It shows your time, and it shows your a percentage, which I just determined was your accuracy, how many shots you took. Because you get 100%. So I think that red one, or the gold one, must be 100% accuracy, or maybe over 80 or something, and the red one is time, and the blue one is just finishing it. So that helps. I can go back through in levels and concentrate on one thing or another, trying to just get to the end fast, or trying to get you know, 100% accuracy and stuff like that. But like I said, this game is interesting, it's fun, it's cute. It is very frustrating. It's almost a rage game. Almost, but it's also you you like you get frustrated, you stop, and then you go by right back into it, start playing it again. And we've got all these levels. It didn't take me that long. I um I can actually say right here, I I did um I've I've only put like two hours. Oh, I put four hours into it. So I put a good number of hours into it. And I got to the end. Whoop, didn't mean to hit that. You know, I got to the end, but I have a lot of stuff I didn't finish. Those are the stars in the levels, I think. Yeah, so I got only... Is that right? I need only two stars? No, that's not what that means. Oh, you know what? 14 out of 16. Let's see. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No nine. No thirteen. Yeah, that's the numbers of levels beat. So those are hidden levels in there somewhere. So there is some more playthrough. Even if you're not worried about maxing it out, there is some more replayability trying to figure out where those hidden levels are or whatever. But it might just be perfecting everything up to it, which I might do, at least in this first level, just enough to figure out what it means. Oh, I did get this one with uh, blue and gold, so I must have got the 100% accuracy, but not the time. But that's it. That's kind of my review. It's not too in-depth. I just wanted to show off a, a, a bit of it and show the ending. I didn't really mean to show the ending. I probably shouldn't have, but like I said, there's not much to it, so it is kind of whatever. Um, but this is on Steam, and like I said, it's $8, I think, for a week, but I think we're a couple days into it, so probably like five more days or something like that. Uh, but you can check it out. I have the link below. But anyway, this has been Rob Bobberty with... Um, I forgot the name of the game. But Lovely Planet April Skies is like, yeah, Lovely Planet 2 April Skies is like the subtitle for it. But anyway, thank you for watching. As always, like, subscribe, and shares are always appreciated, and I hope you have a great day.